Hey everyone, it's Jen from You So Much, and I'm here today with another fan to review. And let me tell you, I'm so excited about this one because when I went to go order this product online, one of the things that I noticed right away was that the copy on this website was Amaze Boobs. Okay, real quick. One of my favorite terms to use is amaze boobs instead of amaze balls because the girls need some love too, right? Well, it's even more appropriate for this particular review because what I reviewed was the Sneaky Vaunt strapless bra. And again, the copy was epic. It reached out and grabbed me and it spoke right to me, the ideal customer. And so I highly recommend that if you want to see some great copy that really speaks really well to an ideal customer, go to their website. And I even feature them in a recent video that I'll link up above for you too. So let's get to the review. So the Sneaky Vaughn is a really cool strapless bra, like I said, and it's not just strapless here, but it's strapless around as well. So it's kind of one of those stick on bras that you may have seen around, maybe the department store, Victoria's Secret carries some, Target carries some, and Amazon has some as well. And there's all different kinds. Now the Sneaky Vaunt has a particular style, which I will show you in just one second. So it comes in this really cool container. That's one thing I really loved about it. And the other thing that was really cool about it is that I think when you ordered it online, it said it was going to take you up to a week and it was free shipping because it just kind of comes with a little bit higher premiere price um, but it came in only a couple days so that was kind of neat because it kind of exceeded expectations and it was free shipping and so it kind of felt made you feel good about okay I paid a little extra for this bra but it's this premiere delivery package that you're getting it in and you got it really quickly now it has this little zipper that you open it up in and it has it comes in this little case that has this little plastic on it that you're supposed to keep on it when it just came in the mail is it came with a little flyer that basically told you how to care for it so it told you to keep that plastic so that you could keep it from sticking to other stuff and helps protect the sticky stuff right the other thing I really loved about it so here's what it looks like and you can see it has this threading in the middle and then you're supposed to use this little tie to tighten it up and then what it does is it helps increase the cleavage going on, right? The tighter you have it, the little bit more support you get, a little bit more cleavage you get. It also probably depends on what you're wearing. You may want not want it to be so tight for some reason because of whatever you're wearing at the time, right? Now, one of the things that I will tell you is I've tried the Target version, and there's a couple things that I liked better about this and a couple things that I like better about the Target version. So I'm going to kind of talk about that a little bit. And I know that there's all different versions, so there's a bunch of different kinds out there. But one of the things that I really loved about the Sneaky Font is on the inside, there's this area right here that you're supposed to place right on your nipples. And I originally thought that they instructed you to do that because they wanted it to fit just perfect and they wanted you to have kind of be able to have more control over the cleavage and all that fun stuff but I realized that it's not necessarily because of that although it might be part of it it's also because when you take the bra off the sticky stuff is really sticking to your skin right and it's a lot more comfortable when you don't have that sticky stuff on the nipple itself. So that was something that I really really appreciated about the sneaky vaunt versus the target version. I also liked how you had a little bit more control with the tightening here and to be able to tighten it up and make it fit just perfect on your boobies. So I thought it would be fun to show you guys what this bra looks like underneath a couple different shirts, including wearing it underneath this same shirt. Because right now I'm wearing a bra so you can see how the difference is between this and the Sneaky Vaunt. Here we go. Now, as you can see, one of the things that I notice about the Sneaky Vaunt is that you can kind of see the lines on the side where you apply it, depending on the shirt. Some shirts you could see it more than the others. If it was a little bit more of a thinner cotton or something like that, you definitely could see it. Now, one of the things I will say about the Target brand is that it was a little bit bigger cup. Now, Sneaky Vaunt advised you to buy, if you were like between two cup sizes, to buy the size that was a little bit lower. I could kind of see why they are suggesting that because it probably enables you to kind of control the, um, the pulling of the string and the tightening and able to enhance your cleavage a little bit more. However, I will say that I went with a smaller cup size and I wish I had gone with a bigger because I think then the sides wouldn't have shown quite as much and it probably would have gone a little bit more on the outside. So personally, I would probably go up a cup size rather than down a cup size if you are between two cup sizes and you're trying to decide what to order. 
The other thing I will say too is that the Sneaky Avant isn't necessarily super supportive. Uh, the Target brand I had was uh, had a little bit bigger cup and felt a little bit more like it was supporting me, whereas the Sneaky Avant kind of felt like it was just kind of covering up the nipples that might show through a t-shirt. It had a little bit more of a freeing feeling, so if you like that, then you might like the Sneaky Avant better, but it really wasn't that supportive necessarily. So on a day when I'm like really hot and I don't want a real heavy cup or I don't want to wear something with this strap and the sneaky mount is perfect because you can still like run to the grocery store and still have that kind of free braless feeling but if you're looking for a little bit of support then I wouldn't necessarily recommend it the other thing one final thing I will say is when I got this in the mail I was a little bit worried about this string and this little chunky um, you know thing that helps hold it together I was kind of afraid it might show through my t-shirt uh, and it really didn't at all you you know you can probably see in the picture you didn't see any chunky weird bumps there going on in the middle and I have to say I really like that however my target version had a little clip in the middle so it had a little bit less control. You could clip it or you could unclip it, and so you couldn't necessarily enhance your cleavage as much with the Target version. However, the clip that clipped together was really, really tiny, and so the outfit that I actually bought the Target version for was has this like little knot in the middle, and then it has an opening underneath, and so the sneaky vaunt really wouldn't work for that because you see the you'd see the threading of the cord, you'd see the cord hanging down, and it just wouldn't work for that. So for that particular outfit, my Target um, version that I bought was perfect. But for like a regular t-shirt or whatnot, this probably would be maybe just a little bit better because it's a little bit more freeing and yet still you know, has enough coverage of everyday use. So. That is my review for you all. If you guys have tried the Sneaky Vaunt or another kind of stick-on strapless bra, I'd love to hear from you. If you guys have any insights on one to try, one to use that might be a little bit better, I'd love to know. And if you guys have any further ideas for another item you would like me to review, I'd love to hear from you. If you have a fantasy of owning it, something that makes you think of fantasy, think something that's fantasy worthy, I would just love to know. Leave it in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to write down your fantasies because words make it real. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.